What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Marquise Walker Career Mode series as today we begin a brand new season. We're entering Marquise Walker's fourth season in the NFL. He's played in two of these years. 19 touchdowns his first year as a part-time starter and a massive jump in a variety of categories here in his third season but second year starting. Yards per attempt up by 1.6. A 9.5 is pretty ridiculous but we pulled off some really big plays this year. Sack numbers way up. I think that's mostly my fault, not so much the pass protection, but 4,700 yards, 31 touchdowns, only 11 interceptions. Not too bad there. For rushing, six more touchdowns. The fumbles, though, are a bit much. Got to protect the football better. So after a 10-6 season, winning our first playoff game and then losing to the Eagles again, we begin a brand new season this year. Marquise Walker has a new contract with the Giants. It would be a shock to see them aggressively address the position this year, but it is Madden, so you never know in free agency. If someone like Phillip Rivers is out there, they might. All right, what kind of surprises are waiting for us here? We'll go with Giants. Oh, we signed Malcolm Butler to a one-year deal. Darquez Denard, Shamir Cooper... Eli Apple's back, we release BJ Goodson, release Nate Solder, who really wasn't that good and had a large contract, and those are all the moves it looks like. So nothing too much here. Marquise, there's a three-year extension, not quite $20 million a year. That's a pretty similar contract to what Blake Bortles has, I believe, on a per-year basis. And then we also signed Janoris Jenkins during the season. Wait, Eli Apple signed here. Then I guess we signed him again later on for some reason. I like the Giants, though. I love being on this team. And we still have so much of our core very young. Odell Beckham is only 28. Saquon Barkley, 24. Don't need to worry about him. And, of course, Odell Beckham's a 97 overall. Hopefully under contract for quite a long time still. He is the number one ranked receiver here in the entire game. So Marquise gets the benefit of that. Contract for Odell Beckham, not too much longer. So got to make a decision when he's 30. Howard Carroll is backing up Marquise Walker. We have Saquon Barkley and Rashad Waters still. Beckham, Shepard, Gresham, Reed, Sertain. All right. We'll see how they decide to uh, address this offseason. I think offensive line could be something to think about. We don't have like any high-quality players there. We have a couple decent starters, and that's it. Of course, I should probably up the offensive line XP sliders in here because they're really ridiculous. But anyway, let's get on to the draft and see what the Giants do here. Next user pick. And... We go middle linebacker, Cinelaw Clady. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Not sure. Then we go running back, Le'Veon Mullins. Rashad Waters has some competition now. And then in the third round, maybe a potential role player, Alan Torber. I like this pick, a 75 overall tackle. I'm on board so far with the selections. Not sure running back was necessary. Ramon Nemo from Yale. We add another receiver to the mix. And then we go to the fifth round. And we're going to cornerback. Don't we have enough of those at this point? We signed like half the league's corners this offseason. And then we go Quinton Durr, defensive tackle. Anything surprising here in the seventh? It is Mike O'Sullivan, a 69 overall guard. So... A couple possible upgrades there for us. Not a stellar draft by any means, but looks like we have uh, a chance to at least develop some offensive linemen. With that, we're on to week one here facing the Kansas City Chiefs and probably Patrick Mahomes, I would assume. So let's get this going. I'm ready to get started already. Season goal. We're going touchdowns this year. We had 31 passing touchdowns. Let's try to get there again this year. And Marquise is actually pretty close to another upgrade. And this is gold, so I'm assuming that. Maybe today, we're going up another skill point. The main objective this season, well, other than trying to go win a Super Bowl, because obviously that is the number one goal, but we need to win the division this year. 
we can't be content going wild card this time especially after last year going five and one and then just getting a wild card berth barely and winning one playoff game against a team whose record was worse than ours we need to be better this year and i think with marquise walker now in his third year as a starter we have a good chance so let's get started marquise has 50 career touchdown passes eight career touchdown runs 25 career interceptions and i think a two to one ratio there is not too bad for uh, a young career especially hopefully that uh gets a little bit better as we continue on but good coverage here on the first throw of the season incomplete i do need to get a new playbook here i'm just tired of the giants playbook it only has like a handful of plays i even enjoy here's saquon barkley don't stretch it outside loss of two Waiting on that November gameplay patch. Hopefully it helps this stuff. What are your expectations for Marquise this year? Obviously, they should be better. He had a number of upgrades last season, especially after receiving the boost in development. There's a first down to Gresham. But we saw a number of upgrades, so I think that you know 35 touchdowns is a good goal. I think the same or less interceptions as last season. Hopefully less fumbles. That's a bigger concern to me because we fumbled the football last year. Oh, that, that could have easily been a sack fumble. But we fumbled more last year than we threw interceptions. For yards, I really don't care. Yards are kind of a, a stat that I don't really put much stock into. A lot of it depends on how well the running game does. If you have big play threats, I want to see basically touchdowns, wins, turnovers. Although, getting closer to 5,000 yards again would not be bad. Third down and 12 now for Marquise. Where are we going here? Trying to buy time. I can't find enough of it. Sacked by Chris Jones. Tough coverage there out of KC on the first drive. Oh, another good one here. I'd like to get down to maybe 50 sacks, which is still a lot of sacks, but it's a, it's a game and it's hard to keep low. Really hard. But last year it was too many, so hopefully this season we can do more running here with Saquon Barkley and not get sacked so much passing or trying to. This spot right here is always second and inches. It's always a first down in the NCAA. Here goes Barkley down the middle. That's a good run. Gain of 14 yards. Eight-man box. Will it matter here on first down? Saquon Barkley. Oh, falls forward. Not much. They pack the box once again on second down. We'll go across the middle. Hello, Odell Beckham Jr. Welcome to another season. He lost his footing. That could have easily been a touchdown. They're showing blitz here, and I believe them because I called play action. So they probably are just blitzing me as a result. Oh, they bluff, and Walker is not getting sacked here. Now we're going to look in the direction of Sterling Shepard inside the 10 down to the five yard line. A good start here for Walker, four of five. Who's getting a look here first in the red zone? We have single coverage on the outside. And nope, didn't like it, didn't like it. We're going to run with Walker himself. Touchdown, Giants. And that is only the ninth rushing touchdown for Walker in his career. That seems low. But I guess it's right. I wonder if for like XP and stuff, if rushing goals and rushing touchdowns are more beneficial or if there really isn't much of a difference. That's interesting to think about. Gain a six here for Ingram. And second and four. The blitz is sent. We're getting out of there. Wow, that's a good spy. That was really good by number 99. He stuck with Walker the entire way. I couldn't get an angle. Parker Porter, 73 speed, 304 pounds, and 75 acceleration. The numbers don't jump off the board there, but they're good. Really good, especially for the size. That just felt like I, I should have eventually separated and never did. Third and two against the cover two. First down, Gresham. We put two receivers out to the right-hand side. We have a new fullback. What happened to Alex Arma? Now it's Tommy Bohannon. I didn't realize we had a new fullback. We'll dump this off to Saquon Barkley. I just want to watch Saquon run. We're, we got to play this till Marquise is like 45. 
Hopefully Saquon Barkley's still around and we can just like watch him. Marquise has like 68 throw power at that stage and we're just watching whatever running back we have destroy. That would be semi-entertaining for me as Beckham makes the third down catch. I am going to get some XP sliders in here. It's shown that default really is not very good for a variety of positions. Offensive line, one of the main ones. I think the XP sliders are more optimized for defense than offense, actually. So it's hard to develop quarterbacks in a way. So it's impressive with what I've done here with Marquise. Getting him to star development is really big. And that's a game changer that can actually get him to the upper echelon of quarterbacks, possibly. But I think that when structured right, the development system in the game can work really well. Like the 95 and up, or even 90 and up, that's a very exclusive area in the game now. And it's hard to get there without being a pro bowler or winning major awards. And I kind of like that. Although sometimes it feels like the wrong players get pro bowls. Watch Beckham! He's amazing! I don't want to throw the ball deep this year. I want to throw the ball short, and then I want to watch some incredibly entertaining yak but i will be getting some xp sliders into here i've been working on something for the cardinal series that will work for everything i do so hopefully we can get that done soon less than 40 seconds here to go this oh i will never know if beckham could have caught that ball third sack of the first half for kc and the second down and 15. That's incomplete. Can't get it there. So three incompletions. You saw the one right there. The other two are throwaways. That's the benefit of having these good receivers. They make most of those tough plays. Third down 15. Why do they suggest this two tight end play? I like to trust the suggestions, but you can't. How much can they possibly stuff in a patch? Can they manage to fix this all at the same time? Third down and 15 now, and Walker's going to buy some time here. Barkley, come with me here. Throw a block. That's exactly what I'm talking about. First down, Marquise Walker. Now, you might say, why on earth are you calling four verticals here? Mostly because of the, the lateral movement before going upfield. Might be able to shred this coverage if we play it correctly. I mean, look at this. Shepard to the goal line. That is unlucky. Can't risk a run down here on first down, so hopefully a quick first option. And there it is! Touchdown, Sterling Shepard. He catches the first of hopefully many to come for Marquise in season number four. Randy Bullock missed the extra point, though, so we're only up 13-6 going into half number two. Good game so far, though. I feel we're taking what we can get. Not missing too many opportunities. Let's dump this off to the fullback. Or actually, it's Ingram coming around for a short gain. Could definitely afford to run the football a bit more, though. I feel we're already super imbalanced. And off to Barkley. Spin wasn't necessary. Gain of four. Third down again. We've been money here so far. But this time, Walker swallowed up in the backfield. Had some chances there, but really wanted to step up and run through. A new set of downs, and they call the shot play here to start things. I don't mind a couple of these per game. Especially if we have the time here. Walker got it to Sterling Shepard. He'll shed a tackle and pick up a big chunk. 31 yards. Or maybe 29. And that is part of how we had such a high yard per attempt last year. Many big gains. We had a really explosive offense. I feel like every playbook in this game is just like Jeff Fisher. Running the ball with like three tackles on the field. Or, you know, three tight ends. But they're basically glorified offensive linemen. Like, remember the old Titans teams with Eddie George? Like, Eddie George didn't even have like a high yard per carry when he was really good. Like, Eddie George had a 1,500-yard season where he had 3.7 yards per carry. I'm not even sure if that was fun to watch, but I know Eddie was really talented. Anyway, we'll avoid uh, Jeff Fisher conversation now and get back to the action. First down here for Beckham. We keep doing a good job, I feel, on third down of finding these open receivers. And Kansas City isn't playing their best coverage on third down, that's for sure. Inside zone split. Oh, boy, wrapped up. 
On second down and nine, we're lobbing it. He's got the separation and the ball gets punched free. Scandalbury, thought you had it, man. Barkley will stay in on this third down. They've gotten some good pressure today. I respect them. But now it's time to move. Outside, off the mark. There was a defender sitting at the sticks, so I was not getting the first down there. Good job, Chiefs. All right, Bullock gets redemption now. It's a 10-point ball game here and a very low-scoring affair. They do not have Pat Mahomes, by the way. I'm not sure what he's doing. Same score with this awesome defense still playing at a high level. Makes it uh, a little easier to win games here when the defense allows six points. Man, Eddie George, though, really had over 10,000 yards and only 3.6 yards per carry in his career. Now I want to put on some old Titans games and just see how this all happened. Third down and four. And, oh, lob it! Knocked away from six. I could have definitely ran that one. All my thoughts getting kind of blended up there. But uh, I look over my monitor sometimes because it's on like a... The capturing's on maybe a two to three second delay. So, depending on what game I'm playing, I'll want to look over to be like, okay, what went wrong there? What could I have done? And I, I saw all that room to run. Enough for a first down at least. Trying to make a play to Barkley. Wasn't the right idea. And now KC cuts into our lead, 16-13. Screen does not look like an advantageous decision right now. Maybe get off the line good there, Gresham. Ah, didn't press. That's honestly the technique that I hate facing the most from a cornerback is when they're in a press alignment, but they don't jam because I'm trying to, like, hope they, uh, you know, get into a interaction there, and instead they just backpedal. And I feel here in Madden it's a pretty good technique for the corners to be in a good position, if that makes sense anyway. Here is a second down play, and we're going to complete it to Gresham for a first. Here's a give to Barkley. He'll get past the first level and spin on one defender. Saquon Barkley out of gas. All right, stuff that one into the November patch as well. We can't have zero fatigue or the lowest fatigue on a play equal that. Saquon can still go. These players got endurance, okay? Rashad Waters must be holding off the rookie for the meantime as he carries. I'm getting out of the way. Oh, Waters still going! Rashad Waters to the two! 30-yard run in spectacular fashion. I really enjoy the gameplay here in this series, though. Not perfect, but I'm having fun. Uh-oh, swing it out. Just in time. Barkley, get there. Help the stats, man. No gain. All right. This might be a weird decision here, but we're making it. Jump ball. Beckham. He found it. Out of bounds. Incomplete. For some reason, I do like split backs down here a lot. Third and goal to the corner. Caught for the touchdown. Evan Ingram. That was riskier than I thought pre-play. That could have easily been a pick six, but my timing was immaculate. Pat me on the back for that one. That was a pretty good play but that was sure risky. That could be the difference between winning and losing right there. Man, I should have thought about that pre-play. I don't think that if I run that play 10 times, it works out that way 10 times. So 23-13, can we hang on here while they waste some time? Uh, could have done better. So can we run off this clock now? Time for a little Saquon Barkley. How's that sound to everybody? First and 10, number 26, coming your way. Gain of two. Second and eight. Fullback dive, Tommy Bohannon, yes! I love the look they gave us there up front. And we sure maximized it. Tommy Bohannon, let's go. Not quite finished yet, but that got us a good step closer. And off going Saquon Barkley's way. Not much. Another handoff. Barkley gets past the first level. And he's got the first down. Game sealed. Giants will start 1-0 here against the Chiefs. Good game though. 23-20.
Just the Chiefs couldn't make enough plays on defense. I think on third down, they weren't consistent enough. And we managed to pull out some big plays while having great red zone success. That's another big deal. We had what we have, like a 100% conversion rate in the red zone for uh, touchdowns. I'll have to check that at the end there. But I think that that was a pretty good game. See, you should bring in your backup quarterback, though, in these spots to kneel because all it's doing is messing up my stats. Giants win! That's the way we start things here. We had a good start to last season, though. Oh, yeah, remind me how close that touchdown was, please. But we had a good start to last year and let it go nearly to waste. We didn't make the most of it, that's for sure. This time around, can't make the same mistake twice. I just can't get over this play. I love how close it was, man. <laughs> he wanted that football, Eric Berry. He had shades of that uh, Matt Ryan pick two that cost the Falcons that game a couple years ago. Thought he could uh, steal one from the Giants. On third down, 7 of 12. Red zone, three drives, three touchdowns. That's how victories are created. Oh, we are so close to another upgrade. But the next training session would get us there. So we'll get that in before the end of the episode. But thank you all for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the action here today. The Cowboys game is up next. And the Eagles not far behind. Upgrade time for Marquise Walker. And I think I want to go back to West Coast to get that up to an 80 overall. I just don't want to, like, make strong arm better and then upgrade Scrambler but doesn't upgrade West Coast. Just something weird like that. We'll go West Coast this time. It's been a while. And for Walker, it boosts up mid-accuracy, throw on the run, and play action. So not too bad there. Only 80? No, Walker's not an 80 overall. He can't be. He was like an 81 earlier, wasn't he? That's really confusing. There was a confidence boost, though, so maybe that was doing something, and we can hopefully get that back. I don't know. I just know ratings just went up, and that is a very good thing. So that's going to do it for today, everybody. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the action here in Mr. Hurricane LP. Remember to hit that bell for notifications if you want them when new videos are posted. I will see you all again soon. Have a great day.